This looks like a Raspberry Pi Pico, but stretched. It's my custom designed Pico stretch. It's got the same classic Pi Pico 40 pin footprint for drop in compatibility, plus 12 extra pins per side, PS RAM, and Wi Fi Bluetooth via the Radio Module 2. Here, I drop my dev board into a Pico calc and run stock code, no changes. And here's the same board serving a website from PS RAM over Wi Fi. Two separate use cases, one board, backward compatible and future proof. In this video, I'll show the design, build, and both demos in detail. I'll also share the files so you can make your own Pico stretch. Hi, I'm Josh, and this is Signal Drift. I love Raspberry Pi Pico microcontrollers, but I wanted more GPIO options, more memory, and wireless without losing compatibility with the massive ecosystem of Pi Pico header boards. I used the Raspberry Pi RP2350 reference designs and an open source design from JLC PCB to guide my work. I also took some inspiration from a similar Pimeroni dev board. These are linked in the description. The tricky bit, the RP2350B wants a neat peripheral pin order. Breaking the GPIOs out into classic versus extended segments meant creative routing and creating these small side wings where I run labels and traces. The board comes with pads for PS RAM and the Radio Module 2. I link sources for these components in the description. After I solder on pins and reflow the PS RAM and Radio Module 2, the board is ready for testing. Don't at me for my soldering skills. First, I wanted to test backward compatibility. I soldered the header pins to just the classic 40 pin footprint, dropped the Pico stretch into a Pico calc, and ran stock firmware with no problems. We boot, edit a file, and then play a little game I wrote. The Pico calc also has a passable NES emulator. My Pico stretch handles it well. Then I overclock the board to see how it handles a little Mandelbrot stress test. No issues so far. Next, I wanted to fully test the new features I added. I asked Claude to create a demo project using Platform IO to test both the Wi Fi functionality and the PS RAM. This project is linked in the description. Here, the Pico Stretch runs a tiny HTTP server, serving a website live from PS RAM, like a little RAM disk, and the Radio Module 2 handles Wi Fi. At boot, you are presented with an admin screen that allows you to upload the website to PS RAM. Serving from PS RAM keeps flashware minimal and response snappy. The demo site has real time stats, documentation, and a large embedded audio file to stress test the PS RAM and I thought it might be nice to validate the extended pins with a little web interface. It supports all of the RP2350B only pins. I toggle a few patterns on pins 37 and 47 and play with some RGB LEDs on pin 36. How about some Christmas cheer? Too soon? Here are some of the hardware highlights and technical specs. Pico Stretch has USB-C. Win, Raspberry Pi, win. A boot and reset button, again, win Raspberry Pi, win. I've included support for the new Radio Module 2 from Raspberry Pi for fully compatible Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. All the usual libraries work with it. It's got 16 megabytes of flash and the best microcontroller ever, the RP2350B. It supports the classic Pi Pico 40 pin layout, though ADC has moved to pins 40 through 47, and stretches to break out the rest of the pins the RP2350B supports. Finally, I added PS RAM pads right behind the flash chip to keep the traces short and wired the chip select to GPIO zero. It was an incredible learning experience creating my own Raspberry Pi Pico dev board. The Pico Stretch is a drop-in replacement for a classic Pi Pico when you need it, and a future-proof, fully broken out RP2350B when you don't. The KiCad files and full notes are in the description. If you wanna build your own, Feel free to download it. The production files are out there just ready for you to send it off to JLC PCB or tweak the design. Add your own flavor to it. Let me know in the comments if you think I missed anything. Did I make any mistakes that I missed? And what would you like to see in a version 2.0? And yes, I know my soldering skills need a little bit of work, but only one dev board was harmed in the creation of this video.